Alright, so today we're going to be doing some Animal Crossing New Horizons. I got the game yesterday, and I've already played way more than I thought I would. This game has hooked me in immediately, and I haven't had a game hook me in in a long time like this. Probably since Mario Odyssey, I think, honestly. So, yeah, there's a bit of progress done. Uh... The latest thing I've done was put down three properties for other villagers, which have already been built. I've got the museum. I've got Nook's Cranny. I think Nook is going to build the town hall, maybe? He said he... Last time I played this, he said he was going to do something to the guest service area or whatever. So yeah, there's a fair amount of stuff that's already been done in this, so far. Oh, yeah, he, oh, Jesus Christ, he built it in one day! Hello everyone, this is Tom Nook. It's 5 p.m. this happy Saturday, March 30, uh, 21st, 2020. Now then, I'm sure you can all guess what I'm gonna tell you next. It's today's big announcement. As stated in a previous broadcast, today we've completed construction on the Resident Services Building. That's not all the big news for today. We've also added someone to our island staff. Come on over. Oh, it's Isabel. Hello, I'm Isabel. As Mr. Nook said, I'm part of the Resident Services staff here on Mackinac. Yes, I named my town Mackinac. While I still have much to learn, I will do my best to support everyone who calls this island home. Isabel has previously done resident support work, so I'm sure she'll be a big help to everyone here, hmm? I've got more to share. The building isn't the only new thing around here. We've got the plaza, some much needed improvement as well. Oh, we gave the plaza, okay. Normally, the plaza is for residents and visiting peddlers who take advantage of its prime location. But keep an eye out for occasional seasonal events, too. Should be fun for everyone, yes, yes. Well, I suppose, I suppose that wraps up all my announcements for today. Except for one final thing. This is my very last broadcast. Really. You did, like, four of them, dude. Starting tomorrow... Isabel will be a new source for Island News. I'll do my best to share all the latest updates with you, so I hope you'll tune in often. Yes, yes. There you have it. New building, new island staff. We are growing, growing, growing. Finding out what's new at Resident Services is, an easy, is as easy as stopping by and inquiring, hmm? Of course, we plan on holding a ceremony to commemorate the new Resident Services building. We'd love for everyone to take part. I believe that sums it all up. Isabel and I will be there to help whenever you need us. Okay, Mr. Nook. That's a lot of shit that just happened. Okay. Huh. But yeah, I'm addicted to this game. I really am. That's why I didn't do any of the beginning part, because I was like, okay, if I record any of this, it's going to be a long-ass thing. Now, I'm going to record this day. Yesterday, I went bananas and played this game for probably about eight to nine hours. Nook Inc. Update from Resident Services. To celebrate the opening of the new Resident Services building, we have lots of new mileage redemption items available. Plus, we now have a new service for new Nook Miles Plus. Members to earn five times more miles. A commemorative gift is attached. Okay. So yeah, this is my house. This, this is what I've got so far. I got the... This is not the... So I've done the tent. And I've done the first house. This is the, this is the first expansion of the normal house. 
May as well just go in and show. I'm almost actually to the point where I can get the next expansion. I have the money for it. I have around 130,000. It's 198,000 for that. But yeah, I, I have not been doing any sort of like decorating or customizing my character a whole lot. At the moment, I've been trying to progress the town itself. So I still have a lot of the starting stuff. Uh, I did actually... I'm, I'm glad that you can change your character. I did get what my actual hairstyle is. I got kind of that Hatham Kenway from Assassin's Creed 3 kind of ponytail thing going on. Now that I think of it, if, if I was a bit older, my face structure would be pretty similar to Hatham Kenway. I don't know. I got, I got like that Arthur Morgan kind of like European generic white male dude kind of chiseled slightly face, I guess. But yeah, yeah, I got uh got my ponytail. That made me a little happy. I didn't have to just have generic flat hair. Uh I actually I was very surprised about this. So I put in my a few of my pieces of art into a converter for Animal Crossing and the the results were actually pretty damn good. They look all spritified in the QR codes themselves, but when you put them in the game, they actually kind of oilify, so it kind of smears them a bit, and it looks better that way. Like, these two look... The reason I kept them here is because they look great in this. Got my peace shadows here, and got my peace vigilance here. And they look good. Oh, and that's a, that's a colocanth I'm using as a table, don't mind that. Is it a coelacanth or a colacanth? I never know. The way it's spelled, it looks like it's colacanth, but I think it's coelacanth. And yeah, I got a lot of the basic starting stuff out here. I haven't done a whole lot. I converted Smug Ren from Shenru Shenmu uh, into this. So Smug Ren has been watching over my crafting for a while. And yeah, this is this is my town. My starting town started with oranges. I've been to a few other islands, which is why I have like apples. I've also got pears and coconuts. If you're wondering why there's so many fruit trees, it's because I've been cutting a ton of them down for wood and then replanting them with just oranges and stuff just to keep the forest alive and it's not barren. It also allows me to just cut these down whenever to get more wood, because there's never a short supply. Hey, Pierce. Yo, how are you, Hawkeye? I want to chat. Guess what? I finally own something that even I have trouble lifting. Yep. I have a house now. Oh, you finally upgraded. It's got walls, a floor, even a ceiling. I can finally do jumping jacks without ripping a hole in my house. Okay, man. Good for you. Uh, how did you get here? This guy... So... Can I bring up a map? So if you look on the map in the bottom right corner... The koala right there, his house is that up in the upper right corner. It's a, it, there's a river that, there's no way to get across that. How'd you get over here? Yay, are you out for a walk? If I get my clothes dirty on rainy days, I just go outside and jump in puddles for an hour or two. Okay. Patty, how are you doing? How now? Let's talk. Did you know the moon is about two hundred and thirty-five thousand miles away? I'm gonna walk around Mackinac Shore until I've walked that far. Just call me Moon Cow. 
Okay. You're gonna die if you walk that much, but all right. Okay, there's, uh, there's a lot of shit being thrown because a lot of stuff's been done. This is not like most people are playing it from the beginning. I'm showing it off after a lot of stuff's happened. So compared to Animal Crossing New Leaf, I'm addicted to this about as much as I was that, but there's a few differences. So first off, you can customize your character in any friggin' way you really want. There's no real restrictions from what I've seen, at least to me. You get a smartphone that allows you to do a bunch of different options. So the camera lets you just take, it's a photo mode. You can just kind of take pictures with it and change filters. So it's kind of got a weird Instagram kind of thing going on as well with it. Uh, I don't have the slingshot yet, so I can't get that balloon. I don't know how to get the slingshot. But I have everything else to my understanding for tools. You got Nook Miles, which is a point redemption service thing for Nook. So, like, right now, I got one for talking to my neighbors, and I get points for it. And the points can be redeemed for things at the town center, just like items or... In the early game, you can use it to get a lot of upgrades for your character, like a larger item thing. Normally, you can only hold 20 items. I've expanded it to 30. And you can get clothing items. You can get tickets to go to other islands. That's what one of these is. Where you can just... We'll do that in a bit. But you can just go bananas on that island. Because it's... It spawns in a randomized island with a villager on it. And while you're there, you can either... Talk to the villager. Ask them if they want to come back to your island. You can... Just chop down all the trees and get a ton of wood like I've done for most of whenever I'm there. You can get minerals there, bugs, fish. It's a very useful feature. Uh, There's the Critteropedia for all your bugs and things you've caught and such. Let you see them all nice and close. It's just your standard Animalpedia stuff that... The games tend to have. And I've gotten a fair amount of stuff. Not too much, but a decent amount of animals. There's the map. A larger and more informed version of the map in the corner. Yeah, like, I don't know how Ozzy got over here, because there's no bridge there. I have to use a... Uh, javelin stick thing to get over there. There is a bridge to this half with Patty and Nook's Cranny and such I've built. Uh, there's all the do-it-yourself recipes, all the stuff you have to make yourself because that is the majority of what this game is, is a crafting survival game, which is weird. It's still your normal Animal Crossing, you just have to make a ton of the stuff this time. So my newest recipe was medicine and a terrarium. A passport. So this is my character thing. Uh, SPICE! Thank you, Tim Curry. Uh, and that is not my actual birthday. I put that in just because of this. It's just, I put in a random day. I'm not gonna... When I play with other people online and stuff, I'm not going to have my real birthday there. <laughs> That'd be stupid. It's the same reason why my, I don't use my real name. This is interesting. So if at any point you get stuck in the game, say... I don't... I haven't had... What is it even called? Vaulting pole. I'm not sure if this or the ladder can break it. I've been using the vaulting pole since I made it. This is the same one, and I've played for many hours and used it hundreds of times. 
and it hasn't broken yet. So I don't know if this can break or not, or if the ladder can break. I would assume so. They haven't yet, but... Oh, free... Wait, no, pick that up. That's nice. A free ticket. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Nook. But I haven't had it break yet, so I'm not sure if it can. If, in at any point, you get stuck somewhere, this is a good part on the developers. If you get trapped anywhere, you can just use this, and it'll send an emergency helicopter, I assume, to come pick you up. I've never used it. I don't need to. And then there's the custom designs. So... You get a bunch to start with, and then there's a bunch you can put in. I put in a few of my art. There's one of Vinny Vine Sauce, because he looks dead. There's Ren, and then there's my logo. I guess these are like the full shirt designs you can do with the pro stuff. But yeah, that's about it for the phone. It's a very handy tool. It lets you do a bunch of different things you couldn't... But well, it isolates a lot of things into an easy to access menu. And the Nook Miles are a very useful feature. Okay, now that I've given the lecture, let's actually talk to some animals and do some things. Now, this is gonna be very chill and maybe probably boring because Animal Crossing is a very relaxing, chill game. That's the point of it. <laughs> Got a fossil. <clears throat> Actually, yeah, let's check out uh, the town hall. We'll use this board to post important notices. Okay. I have not been in here. I can probably change the town flag now to my logo. Ah, Turner. Hello, hello. Welcome to the new and improved residence services tent. It's not a tent. Did I say tent? Of course I meant building. And we couldn't have built it without your help. Now, as I mentioned in my broadcast, we need new support staff for a new building, so Isabel is here to take good care of us. You're Turner, right? Mr. Nook has told me about you. I just started today, so I'm sure I'll have my hands full learning all the ins and outs of the new job. But I'm already smitten with island life, so you can count on me to give my absolute best. And there you have it. Isabel and I will split up duties here to better support you all. Broadly speaking, I'll take care of anything related to homes or construction issues. Isabel will help you with general island matters and resident support. Sit at the appropriate counter when you need help, and we'll rush over in two swishers of a raccoon's tail. In fact, have a seat now so we can introduce you to some new services. Now, with that out of the way, I have something I'd like your help with. When you have a moment, please sit at my counter. I hope I can count on your continued support of Mackinac and our new resident service building. Okay, man. Floor. Box. There's always a po- A, a pox? A box. There were two cardboard boxes in there today. So this machine is where you can redeem the Nook mileage stuff. And you can just... What is this? A bell voucher? I don't know what that is. That's weird. But yeah, you can get tickets. Ultimate pocket stuffing. I'm guessing this expands my... Inventory even more? Cool. These allow you to get new hairstyles. Barbed wire fence, imperial fence. Looks like these are just a bunch of things you can put around town. These weren't here before. This is all new. A silo- A robot hero! Yo, I want a Gundam in my town. 
construction side uh, sign lifeguard porta potty I like the street lamp you t that looks kind of ugly in the island setting that would look great in like a very suburban area but It's funny how I can, at least to me, as someone who only really goes to, like, Chicago and stuff, seeing stuff like this, this, in specifically these seats, this kind of looking vending machine, and this electrical tower, that just reeks of uh, Japanese infrastructure to me. Just from the way they're designed, they're very, it's a very, if you've, like, looked at the way a lot of things are designed as just like utility items and machines and how street stuff looks in Japan. A lot of it looks like this kind of stuff. I'm not sure if there's a whole lot of this kind of design language in the US because most of what I see for like a drink, it's for one of these say for instance, it's normally some really shitty Coca-Cola machine that's like 20 years old or a Pepsi one. Public benches that I've seen tend to be more metal looking. Like, yeah, this is metal, but they tend to be very, like, flat. They don't look rounded like this. And utility poles, mo most of them are still wood here. They're not metal like this. But uh, it's, it's nice, it's just like, oh, this, I can tell the cultural thing, yeah. It's interesting. It's very, it's very clean looking, I'll say that. I like it. A phone box. <laughs> Get in the TARDIS. Make it blue. Whoa. A freaking satellite antenna. The heck would this be used for? Just to look cool? Solar panel. There's some cool looking stuff here. Godzilla? I want a kaiju. A teacup ride. Weird. Kind of weird. Okay. I don't want to use it right now, but yeah. Uh, Nook Shopping? I forget what this is. Oh, okay. So this is like a adv KK Adventure. Mm. So this is like a shop, I guess. I've never used this before. And then there's also the ABD, which is the payment for the loan. So that's where you pay for your house. I tend to just pay it all off at once so I don't, like, not have any money on me, just in case. Okay, so that was all new to me. Oh, wait, I needed to talk to Nook. That is correct. I forgot. All right, Nook, what you want? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. What you want, man? Yes, yes, this is the construction consultant co counter. Consultation counter. Before we begin, allow me to quickly explain the services ordered at my counter. In addition to my normal duties, I can also talk about issues related to island construction. There are lots of fun little projects that will make the island a more comfortable place to live. I can help with building bridges or inclines such as ramps and stairs or even moving existing buildings. These are optional extras for your island experience, so these services will of course incur additional fees. And with that information in mind, what do you think? How can I be of assistance to you? I need your help. You wanted my help? Oh, curious to see, to know how you can help out, hmm? Well, we've got a fine building for resident services now, and you've no doubt admired the plaza, hmm? It's primed and ready for major events, so I have anything, if I have anything to say about it. To think that we started with a deserted island and have grown into a bustling community. I want to do something grand to celebrate. Oh, yes. I have big plans. Good luck with that. <laughs> Tell me more. 
Oh, uh -huh. got your attention. Our goal is to have the incredibly popular music musician. I can speak. Mm. Musician KK Slider come and put on a show here on Mackinac. Turner, I'm sure you know who KK is, yes? Yes, he showed up as my sleep paralysis demon on the first night here. No clue. No clue at all. I don't know. I haven't played these games for over 25 years. No. Wait, when did the first Animal Crossing come out again? Why did I say 25 years? Came out... 2001, I think? I think 2001 or 2002. I think it was 2001. I didn't get... Now I'm having like a weird existential moment. Like, when when did I get Animal Crossing? I think I got it in like 2006. Yeah. Two... Um, 2007? I think I got Animal Crossing in 2007, yeah. Because I got Wild World. Wild World was my first one. And then... I got Animal Crossing for the GameCube on a side $20 value rack at a store, brand new. I think in like 2007. It was when they were starting to get rid of GameCube stuff. Okay, let's get back to the game. I was having a moment there. I was like, wait, when did I start playing the series? What? Are you serious? His songs are constantly playing on the radio, and yet somehow you've never heard of KK? Wait, then this means you have yet to experience listening to his deep discography for the first time. In a way, I'm almost jealous. Ah, sorry about that. As you might guess, I'm a big fan, and it's easy to get sidetracked about talking about him. Back to our goal, if we hold a KK concert here in Mackinac... Why, why, why do I have the problem of reading sentences and then they don't actually say it the way that I think they should be saying it? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm reading it, and then... Like, to me, it should be... Back to our goal, if we hold a KK concert here on Mackinac, he could become a household name. Instead, it's Mackinac could become a household name. Okay. Eh, I don't know. My brain reads words too fast and then they come out my mouth sounding stupid. We've done a lot so far to further the development of this island, but... A KK show would be the culmination of all our hard work. I'd love your cooperation, Turner. When you're ready for more details, come ask me what should I do again. I'm still here. What should I do? Ah! I take it it means you're ready to hear the details of my plan to draw KK here to hold a concert. I call it Project K. This plan of mine is divided into three main stages. First, we need more visitors to come to our island. Next, we need more folks to move here. And finally, we work hard to increase the overall image of this island. We'll increase the number of tourists and residents, and we'll create a Mackinac so loved Word of how great this island will reach KK, and he'll accept our offer to host a concert here. So, for the first step, we'll be increasing the number of tourists by adding a campsite to our island. A campsite will make it easier for visitors to experience life here, and it'll make for great PR material too. With that in mind, could you get out your phone toner? Sure. And done. I've sent you the recipe for a campsite construction kit. I want you to craft that and pick a great spot on the island for a new campsite. I'm counting on you. Okay, man. It's a lot of pressure. It's not like I've been building the whole damn island myself already. Fuck you. All right. So then, hey Abel, Sable, Mabel, whoever. Good afternoon, Turner. Thanks for stopping by. How can I help you today? What you got? You got it, here's what I'm selling. Eh.
Nothing really interesting to me. Alright, thanks, though. Oh, the money rock. Lucky, lucky. This is a very nifty feature of the new game, is that the money just immediately goes to your bank if you pick it up. The only exception I've seen about that is the... They brought back the hole in the ground, like one of these, but it's glowing. They brought back it from the first game. So we'll go looking for that. So every day you get a thousand bells just in the ground somewhere. It's a snail. Sorry, Mr. Snail, but I've already got one of you in the museum. And I need your materials in here. So, last time I played, I actually broke all the rocks in town, and you can do that by eating food. So, if you eat the fruit, you get like a fruit meter. Well, count more or less. And every time you hit a rock or something, then it breaks instantly and gives you an item instead. And I broke them all, so now all the rocks in my town are in different places. Like, there used to be one right here, and now there isn't. Hey, Ren. He's always watching. This is funny, though. So I still don't have the ability to modify the terrain in any way, yet my town kind of started with a star-shaped pond back here, which I, I think I'll keep. I'll keep that when I'm readjusting the land in the future, whenever that is. But that, that's cool. There tends to be just koi in, like, tadpoles and stuff in there. So this is Patty's house. It's a pretty nice place. Just reading over there? Alright. Is Nook's Crannery. This took forever for me to build. This took five hours of me gathering enough. The wood wasn't the problem. It was the iron nuggets that took forever. It took me like five hours just to kind of do that and a few other things at the same time. Wonder what they got in store today. Hello, hello. Welcome to Nook's Cranny. You guys don't have anything interesting still to me. The heck is this, a fire hose? Yeah, well, it's a hose. What is this? Oh, whoa. I have now looked in here. A rainbow umbrella, tulips, party popper? Huh. Wrapping paper? Why would you need that? Thank you! I shall buy that. I don't have a slingshot yet. Looks like I can just buy the recipe for it. Wait, are they selling- You guys are selling oranges for 400. What, is that for if, like, you accidentally Cut down all your orange trees, sell all the oranges, and you don't have any fruit on your island anymore, or trees, really? Is that what that's for? 
I would assume so, because who in the right mind would buy a single orange for what they sell for, for four of them? Jeez. Cedars, saplings. All right, this is some interesting stuff. I didn't know this was here. All right. Oh, we got an update. All right. Thank you, thank you. So yeah, I named my island Mackinac after Mackinac Island. One of my favorite places. And it fits. Uh, it, the name, they don't mention the name of the island too much, actually. I, I hear Nook much more as a word than the town name in this game. So it's it doesn't come off as uh, annoying. It, it's very good. Oh, I do have... I think I saved it, yeah. So... This was me catching the colacanth. The coelacanth, whatever you call it. And this was the museum opening. My two starting villagers was Pierce and Cherry. Added with the fact that I got oranges as trees, I think I got a really good island. Personally for me, I really like it so far. And I got it on my first time playing it. A lot of other people I know who are playing this are kind of continually restarting the game to get villagers they want and fruit that they want. And that's funny to me because I just started up the game, got that, and was like, oh yeah, this is great. And then all the other villages I have so far have come in just over time. Yeah, there's nothing up here. I was looking to see if there's any fish or diggable spots over here. But yeah, you'll notice they, there's no way to really get up on these high places if you haven't played this game before. And that... First off, you get this by using the D-pad after upgrading your menu with the Nook Miles. You get this D-pad menu that just kind of instantly lets you choose things on the fly. And it's very useful. You get a ladder. You put it down. And you climb up. This is Death Stranding now. Oh, there's the money spot. But is there anything else? No, there's not. So here's the money. Let's open the bottle. To the lucky duck who picks this up. I was cleaning my house and found this old do-it-yourself recipe. I thought, up. Uh, I just had to share it, so I stuffed it in a bottle and floated it to you. It's so easy, anyone can do it. Do this. Wishing you luck, Tom. What is it? Clo- uh, I already have clothesline, never mind. Let me learn the slingshot, though. Alright, now I know how to use it. Well, make it. I need to sell some stuff. So this higher level, I've done nothing with so far. And there's also another layer above this, actually. But I've only been coming up here to get resources on occasion. I think I've been up here like five times. I just haven't had a necessary reason to be up here. And then there's a third height up. That you can get up to as well.
And the gameplay is pretty smooth. It's just very fluid. Just kind of looking around for any more digging spots. And there's not. I don't think there's any more up here. Well, I don't think I've been... No, I have been up here. It's just... No, there's one right here. Now, for me playing this and recording it and all that and such and showing it off, I think it is just going to be that. I think it's just going to be on occasion. I'll pop this in to record, just kind of show off how things are going. Because I play this, seeing how I've done so far playing this for like six to seven hours and recording and talking about it and stuff, I think that'd be too much for me. Plus that might wear down on my fun with the game because I do take it off the dock and play it in other places and such as well. So having to be stuck on the TV may hinder my enjoyment of it. That one looks interesting. What are you? Oh, nice. If there's one thing I will say that's a little annoying that is still a thing in the series with this game is how picky the fishing can be in terms of where you place it. You have to get it right in front of the fish, no matter what. Wait, to me, I'd like... Maybe it could be like inch or two away to the left or right of the fish's vision and it could still notice it because of the splash, but maybe I'm just expecting too much. It does it on occasion like that. But that's it. Well, that wasn't even a fish technically, but it does it sometimes, but it doesn't do it a lot of times and it's frustrating. That's the only thing that I'm just like, come on with this game so far. Is just like a slight annoyance when I cast my reel and it's just a little too far to the left or right and the fish doesn't pay attention. So this is the koala's house. And I really like this. It's very well animated and it's very easy to use to get across rivers and such. And like I said, this thing hasn't broken yet, so I don't know if it does break or not. I don't have any room for this, really. So, I think I'm gonna go and sell some stuff to the Nooks. Uh, actually, no. I'll, well, that's the annoying part, is that... Mmm... Because I'd want to assess all the fossils at once. I don't want to take two trips to the museum just for that. That'd be pointless. I'm just going to dump the boot here. And come back for it.
Have I? I don't think I've messed with this rock yet. I have not. Alright, let's go in. I think I'll also give a little tour of the museum as well, since we're in here. Hey, Blathers. How's it going, man? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, dear. Pardon me. Why, hello, Turner. Welcome to the Mackinac Museum. How may it be a service? Ah, assess some fossils. What would you like me to assess? I'm all a flutter. All of these, my good sir. Thanks in advance. Yes, yes, I know some are not new. Actually, most of them are new. Several things I see. Splendid. We'll gladly take these off your hands. Nope. Alright, so yeah, this is... Oop. There's this. Actually, there's still more. What? Oh. There's, wait, there's another one? Jeez, how many are there? Oh. Okay, that should be all of them then. So yeah, this is the museum. I like its design a lot. It looks like a normal modern museum to me, finally. A lot of them don't in the previous games. They kind of try to, but this looks like a museum to me. Let's start with the bugs. Like, this looks beautiful. They got a little pond section with some carp in it. You can't move the camera around in here, unlike on the outside, but... But it's still very nice looking. And there's multiple rooms for these sections as well. Like, there's this with the wharf roach and the hermit crab. And there's a bunch of other ones as well that I don't have yet. There's a lot of... What, what the heck is this? Oh. Weird. That's a kite butterfly. What does this say? Paper Kite Butterfly. Okay. It's like they've turned the... employee area for, like, keeping... Because employees at these kinds of museums have their own areas and stuff like this to... I don't know what how better to describe it than just kind of maintain the exhibits and things like that. 
And it's, it's like they turn that into an actual part of the exhibit here, which is not uncommon. It's just kind of weird to me to see. I've only seen it once in a museum where they've done that. And they've got their own little other areas for like the pill bugs in there, the moths in there. The centipede should be in there, yeah. And then there's the butterfly room, which is very beautiful. Like, look at this. Oh, there's so many of them. It's lovely. It's a nice, peaceful place. Next on our museum tour, we'll be heading to the Fossil Room. Located in the basement of our glorious museum, we have a variety of exhibits showcasing prehistoric creatures. Like, like, this is what was lacking to me in... M most of the museums in the previous games have a very wood grain, spotlight on thing kind of approach, which is what museums used to do in like the 70s, the, I'd say the 60s through the 90s, but this looks like how museums nowadays are with this stuff, very... Still that, like these pedestals and such, and the display, but then they have like this kind of sciency art kind of thing going on with the actual floor, the walls, there's other things that are trying to make it look a bit more modern. Because if this was like it would be in the 80s and 90s, it would still be this, what you see in here, this kind of layout and all that. Maybe you wouldn't be able to get so close to these, but... Uh, like, all this... arty, weird patterning, kind of connecting everything together for, like, this goes to this, and this goes to that, and this is the path of history, kind of thing. That's something I saw more crop up around the mid-2000s in museums. One thing I do, it's small, but one thing I do appreciate about this is the sound of the running. They got, I don't know if they went with like the studio that did like the Breath of the Wild sound effects and such or whatever that does like location based accurate sound effects, but this is like perfect surround sound for this room. <laughs> then there's another room. And hey, look, here, here's me. <laughs> I, I love some of the little gimmicky things you would see in a museum here. That's the thing. Something like this. It's like, hey, this is you. And then here's just a bunch of different villagers, I guess. Being like, hey, this is where you came from. This is where we think you came from. That kind of thing. There's one of those in the aquarium, too. It's just like, it's not like about you. It's, well, it is. It's just... Uh, one of those cutesy things, I guess. I don't know. Which is where we're heading next. One thing I will note is that there's no way to... There's no connection between each type of exhibit. There's no way for the bugs to connect to the dinosaurs or the fish to the dinosaurs. You have to go to each individual one. Which I think has always been the case. I'm not sure if... New Leaf had a thing like that, but I'm forgetting. I haven't played New Leaf in like two to three years. So yeah, I'd say the... I'd say this, the aquarium section, is my favorite just because it looks so good. It, 
It's oddly a little bit strange being in a museum that looks realistic like this. And you're the only one who's in here, though. I haven't seen any other villagers come in here. So it's a little disconcerting just to be, like, in this massive-ass museum by yourself. It's kind of weird. It's a little bit of, like, a slight dystopian feel where there's no one else. <laughs> I think there's only a horse mackerel in here. It seems like it, yeah. <laughs> this big ass... Eventually when I fill this up with other fish, this poor horse mackerel is gonna have to really enjoy his time like this. Because he's got all this free space. And soon he won't. There's the colacanth. So I have a colacanth. I caught two colacanths in the, like, the span of five minutes, which blew my mind. But, yeah, the coelacanth, colacanth, I don't know, man. But, yeah, there it is. And I like the area up here more, though. This. Well, here, here's this, where you can just, like, look in. That's kind of cool. This area over here is probably my favorite, because it's got, like, all these sub-tube sections where you can walk through and underneath the exhibits. It's very cool. There's those. But th this I love. Because there's, there's an exhibit in front of me and behind me. And it's just like, ooh, this is... This is some cool stuff. You can even walk on top of the exhibit a little bit. So I like the museum a lot. It's very well stylized. It's properly stylized. They did their homework on how these are done nowadays. And I appreciate that a lot. It makes it more interesting to go in. And frankly contribute to knowing that they're going to be in these cool environments. <clears throat> All right, so that's that. Ooh, there's another rock here. Have I gotten this one? I have. Okay, time to go sell my stuff to the Nooks. Let's see, the boot, flooring, the box, fossil, dab, flounder, that, that, that. I'm keeping the gold because I know it's a material to use, but it could sell at a high price, but I'm not going to waste it. Getting closer to paying off that second expansion for the house. See if there's anything interesting on the coast. Oh, yo. Hey, Turner. This island smells so good. Is it the oranges? Whatever it is, it makes my tummy growl. So, um... I brought a present for you today. And this makes us officially licensed friends now. Sure, Ozzy. Whatever, man. If you want to buy friendship like a weirdo, that's not how you make friends, dude. A shell table. I made that. It's my secret skill. It came out real good, too. You should try putting it in your favorite spot on the island. 
We're gonna be the bestest friends that ever friended, old bear. How about I tell you no, Ozzy? We will never be friends. And I curse your family lineage for a thousand years. Let me get fishing rod out and see what this is. Please be something big so I can sell it at a high price. And please don't be a sea bass. Ah, oh, damn it, I pulled too early. Why did I cast over there? There's another one up here. Ah! Oh. Damn it! I hit the button just a second too late. Whatever. There's more where it came from. I haven't been up here. I don't think I've hit that rock yet. Appears I have, so never mind. I gotta say, this game looks beautiful. They fixed up the weeds so they're not annoying looking. They actually look like just random plants now, which is very visually appealing. And you can actually sell them to get a ton of money. That's why all the weeds are basically gone in that lower first area. Is because I picked them all and sold them. But on your normal days in this game, it's raining right now, obviously, but, like, the trees tend to rustle with the wind. There's a lot of small things that just make things more appealing in this than the previous entries. The water looks beautiful. Too early. Yeah, I can't vault over there.
But yeah, you can play this game at your pace. That's that's generally the point of Animal Crossing. I, I've been kind of going really far through it just because I want some basic stuff set up. Just to make a few things easier, because at the core of this game, it, it is Animal Crossing, but the new survival stuff, like this fishing rod, it will break eventually. Now, apparently, further in the game, you can get one that doesn't break. But until then, you have to keep making them once they wear out. Ah, I hit it too late again. I'm busy focusing on talking. I just want some quality of life easier access kind of stuff set up first. So I got the shop set up, town hall set up. I got more villagers here. I've got most of the tools that I need. And I have access to a lot of different options. So I'm I think I'm going to play it a bit slower from here on out, but Yeah, I'm I'm enjoying this again. I haven't I got burnt out on Animal Crossing New Leaf because I played it for three years straight constantly almost every day. So I don't think that's going to happen with this one, but I am I have been hooked by the series again. Which is more than I can say for Pokemon. So yeah. I don't know. It's just chill. Hey, Pierce, what are you doing, man? You stretching? Hey, yeah, uh, it's raining, but I'm attacking the day anyway. You too, huh, Hawkeye? I want to chat. You come up with your own play for the Happy Home Academy yet? Play. They're coming tomorrow, Hawkeye. What? They're going to score how you've decorated your place, so you got to put out your A-game. Thanks for the info, man. I didn't know the HHA was going to come over. Nook, you're withholding information to me. I'm the one who's building your town, and you won't even tell me that the house raiding people are coming? Come on, man. Uh, let's see. Let's talk to Isabel. I haven't done that yet. Oh, yeah. I need to change the town flag as well, if I can. Isabel, you doing all right? Nook. What happened here? She's asleep. Why are you doing nothing? Wake her up. There you go. Welcome, Turner. In case you don't remember, I'm Isabel. Where's Doom Guy? I know you two were pretty buddy buddy before this game came out. I look forward to being of assistance with your life here on Mackinac. At this counter, I can help you with both general issues and issues you may face with other residents. We can delve into the details when specific concerns arise. Now, no need to worry about that right now. But since you're here, I may as well ask, do you have any specific concerns at the moment? Indeed I do. There's some lowly son of a bitch called Ozzy who's, ass who's assaulting me with calling me his friend. I need him evicted right now. Oh, this is so exciting. My first official request. Um, I'm sorry. That wasn't professional, was it? Now then. How can I help you today? Uh, flag. Make it my logo. I shall be the overlord. You want to change the flag in front of resident services and the one at the airport? Fantastic. Our flag is the physical embodiment of everything Mackinac represents to folks on the island. It's proudly displayed in front of resident services and outside the airport. I'll admit, the design is a little dated. So, so do you have anything else in mind? This one. Okay, I didn't expect that reaction, but alright. It's perfect in every way. It truly captures the essence of Mackinac. She friggin' loves it. Weird. From this point forward, your design will be our new flag. Thanks for your submission. Uh, I'll change the tune later. Discuss Ozzy. No. I'm not gonna harp on Ozzy too much. He's al I already put his house in the top corner of the island with no way to get to it. <laughs>
Hey, there it is. Not too bad. It's very oily looking, but it's not too bad. <laughs> Now let's go to the, uh, airport. Oh yeah, well, well first I haven't talked to Cherry today yet. Cherry, what are you doing? And second off, I've never been in your house before. You live in a- you sleep in a sleeping bag? Get a bed! What's wrong with you? Sup, Turner? Need me for something? What you doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Check it out! I'm making a wooden table mirror. This do-it-yourself stuff is taking some major elbow grease. So I like to go all in on it. It's not worth the effort. It's so worth the effort, though. Oh. I already crammed your brain in with the wooden table mirror, making know-how? More or less, yeah. Alright, alright. I should have known. You're always on top of stuff. Well, I already wrote up a recipe for a wooden table mirror. Yeah, take it anyway. Give it to a friend or something or what what. Wouldn't it rock if we all made a wooden table mirror? Do it yourself style? Yes. Yes, it would. Okay, Cherry. Have fun. You got an interesting... For, for your getup and your personality, you got an interesting choice of furniture. But, whatever, you do you. Have fun with it. Alright, let's go flying. Alright, so this is the airport. Orville. Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to one and only Gateway to the Skies, the Mackinac Airport. How can I help you out today? I want to fly. Roger. By the way, it looks like you got Nook Miles ticket on you, in case you feel like using that. So, just to get the paperwork all official, where'd you want to go? Use a ticket. So you want to use your Nook Miles ticket. Roger. I'm ready to get you in the sky right this minute. But let's just check. You all packed? Tools already? Time for takeoff. Alright. Let's get you airborne. Dodo 1, this is Dodo Tower Wilbur. You copy? Got a walker who needs wings. Over. Roger, roger. Okay, have a good flight, friend. And when you need the travel, just think, what would Dodos do? Doll. Dodo Airlines. <clears throat> Alright, we got two down and knocked on the target island. Delta Oscar, Delta Oscar is a go. Meanwhile... I'll be in holding pattern here. Get in touch when you need tools or travel. Go catch some bees and chop some trees. Go get them, Tiger. Okay. This place seems slightly bigger than the other islands I've been on. There's a lot of butterflies here. Okay, yeah, so this is just a randomly generated island. Well, I'm, I'm not entirely sure if it's randomly generated. I think it is. Just because every time you do one of these, it's a completely new island that's never been touched, everything's brand new, and it would, ha to me, then it would have to be randomly generated, because then there would be an infinite amount of these. But yeah, it's, it's mainly just a way to get resources without s screwing up your own place, basically. So you're just traveling to nearby islands in the ocean that are vacated with nothing, with, well, with nobody, and you're just harvesting them of all their resources that you find valuable. So, quite literally, you are an imperialist. <laughs> <laughs> well, time to destroy Mother Nature. Oh, yeah! 
No consequences. What was that present Ozzy gave me again? Oh yeah, the shell table. What does it look like? Can I just put it here? No, I can't actually. So I could do that on my own island. I can't like place it out here on one of these islands. Okay, run away. Uh, it pauses the bees by doing this. Get a net. No! <laughs> I'm about to get stung. I'm in danger. Nope, didn't work. Okay. So now I got bee stings the rest of the- well, actually, well, yeah, I don't have any medicine on me. I might be able to make some. I don't know how to make it, though. And there goes the axe. So yeah, all your tools break at some point. Oh, this is cool. It's got a spiral in it. So, I'm gonna need an iron... yeah, I'm gonna need an iron ingot. So, to get back the axe that I made, which was a normal level axe, I'm gonna have to make a low tier level axe. And then upgrade that. Well, first, can I make medicine? Funny enough, I have to go back and get the wasp nest. And then I can fix my face. <laughs> so let me grab the weeds. And then that should be able to be used to fix my face. Let's make the axe. Alright, so that's all good. Let's fix up my face now. Wait, no. Take... Pick it up. There we go. 
All back to all back in order again. Now I just hope there's not another beehive somewhere in here. I could just make more medicine then, but still. Oh, and one other thing. Because I'm I'm posting this, because my schedule for for content is all over the damn place. I am putting this up tomorrow, which would be Sunday, while today is Saturday, which is what is being shown right here in actual time on the clock down there. Because some of my I have been doing time skipping stuff to just get progress up in order. Like, you can see some of these at 2.22. Well, 3.22. Uh, there's a 3.23 over there. So I've done a little bit just like a day or two ahead. Just to kind of keep the momentum going so I can keep playing this non-stop. Because I cannot control myself about it. Try and get this guy. I have no idea how much he sells for. Citrus Longhorn Beetle. I already have one at the museum. But I could sell him. But so yeah. Because this will be like the first video that's like, oh, this will go up the next day that I've ever done in like I think since like December because everything that I've been doing like the latest Shenmue up to this point is part 10 and that was done almost a month ago because <laughs> the Shenmue finale which will be part 11 that I did on like March 2nd and that's gonna go up this Wednesday so j just my content is I have so much stuff and I've put it on a specific flexible schedule of sorts that I just kind of do. I, I've, I've made a schedule that I follow, but at the same point, I hold no constitution to it if I need to. <laughs> it's just so far I have been able to. But I just made so much stuff that it's pushed back quite a bit. This will be the first thing that goes out that's like the next day I've done in a long ass time. I still need to put up... I was going to put up instead of uh, this on Sunday today... Hello, future people by one day. Uh, I was going to put up the Zelda Breath of the Wild one-year anniversary stream. Because I did a I did a one-year anniversary stream on February 18th from when I started making real content. And I haven't put it up yet. And I was going to put it up today. But now this is going up. So that's probably going to be pushed back till... I think it'll be pushed back till Friday now. Because Unravel is done. Like being put up and such. So I think it's finally going to be put up on Friday. After a month and a half of not being put up. That's how disorganized this stuff is. Like it's organized but it, there's... Things like that that are not like consecutive things. Which... Hint, hint, it is now. It just hasn't been put up yet. Uh, like the consecutive stuff like Shenmue, every Wednesday. 
Unravel, I've been doing every Friday. Uh, let it go. Pokemon was every Sunday. And now Sunday became the free open time. Now Friday is about to be a free open time. And Wednesday is also going to be just a random time for stuff as well. There's no, there's no more consecutive stuff anymore. There's no more series-esque stuff. It's all just kind of random stuff. Now Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild at this point, I have three more bits for. There's the recording of the stream I did a month and a half ago, which will go up Friday. And then there will be another part, and then another part that I recorded already. And then, frankly, there will probably be another part as well for that. And I I'm kind of thinking there's probably going to be like another five parts, honestly. Just because I got sucked into Breath of the Wild a bit recently again. And then I've got other games that I've got things for, like Squidlet. In Trails of Cold Steel 3, I've got Dreams. There's a lot of stuff that I've already done that hasn't been put out yet. That are just like single one-offs. I've got Pokemon Gold version, Gold versions, Japanese version that I did like an hour of that I need to put up. So yeah. Wait, there's still another tree. All of nature must be consumed. Eh, screw that tree, it can live. I do want to see what this fish is, though. Eh. I still don't know the exact prices for a lot of these, but I do know this guy would be more than the tiger butterfly. Alright, I think I've destroyed nature here, sir. Shall we go back? Bell bottom swing this stovetop microphone. Do you require assistance? Over. Ready to go home, man. You ready to punt pontoons and fly soaring cosmos here back to Mackinac? You positive? Be very positive. Cause I wouldn't want you to be leaving anything behind. So again, you ready? Yeah. Roger. Lifting off November, Oscar Whisker. Doll Airlines. And yeah, that's the Nook Ticket Mile thing. You just go to a randomized aisle and scavenge nature. You exploit nature and uh, take it, take everything you want. So let's go... Wait, what was this? Wooden table... Yeah, let's go to the nooks and sell stuff again. Hey, guys. Sell that and that. I'm sorry, Ozzy, but I must. I have no use for that. That looks good. Let me rearrange some of this so it's not annoying to me. Okay, yeah, that's good. Yep, 
Yeah, so I, I went out and picked up uh, a physical copy of this game, whereas most people I know got it digitally because they don't really want you going outside right now. Uh, which, yeah, it's, it's looking pretty, pretty bad around here. I'm not too worried about it, I'm just staying indoors. Uh, but aside from that, I when I got the... I, I woke up late, so I, I got there to the store an hour later than I wanted to, and I actually grabbed the last copy they had. They didn't get a whole lot of them. And they gave me a free poster for the game, which is very nice. I already got a poster from the uh, Nintendo Force for the game, but this is a different looking poster actually, so now I got two different posters for this game, which is nice. I will say though, there's no perfect game, no more perfect game than this probably to play during a situation like this in the world. Because, quite literally, this is a very comfy game that, it, it's a social sim and it's, it's a, a life sim, technically. So this is a perfect kind of game to be playing right now. It's like Nintendo planned it. Oh, there's, I've already gotten that one. Uh, I could probably actually show that whole rock function. So... I don't know why I use the axe for that, but... Got a piece of wood out of it, I guess. So there's a meter up in the top left that has a count for fruit. So then if I take my shovel and go hit a rock, and I found this out by accident, it breaks it. Now you can do that with all the rocks, and they're not gone forever, which was my initial panic, is that I thought, oh shit, now I'm gonna have to keep going to the different random islands just to get minerals and stuff, because I broke it and it's gone forever. No, they respawn and come back in random places on your map if you've done that otherwise they stay there like normal that's Pierce's house I do like how you get to pick where the villagers are like, they don't just come in and settle in random places, you get- you get a thing, a little item that allows you to choose where the villagers go. That's pretty much how all this is, you get to choose where the stores go. I put this bridge here, the houses for the villagers are all where I put them. The only things I'm aware of you cannot choose is where the town hall goes. Where's the map? is where the town hall goes and where the openings for the... Like, once you chose a map like I did, the openings to the ocean for the rivers, those cannot never be changed, as can the dock, the airport, or, like, that little cliff thing that's off to the left there of normal grass, that can't be moved either, I don't believe. And when you start terraforming and stuff in the future, you can't change the beaches, so that's a thing as well. But aside from that, you get to design the interior of the island however you want. And I'm- I'm- this is very addicting. <laughs> Obviously. How long have I been going, anyway? An hour 35, damn! Holy shit! I thought I'd been playing for like 30 minutes! Okay then. Alright. That's a lot of time that just flew by. You see what I mean? I didn't realize that that was actually how much time had flown by. Actually, no, I'm gonna try catching this.
Isabel, what are you, is this gonna be like a thing? Is this like a gag thing? I was wondering, what is she doing? She just sniffing the flowers? Yeah, she is. Okay, so I'm trying to get the pocket upgrade, because that will be very useful. <laughs> it's already very useful how I have an upgraded pocket system already, but getting more inventory would be like, ooh, I could get so much stuff to sell then. Just kind of getting some fruit to sell. Not much else. The game isn't complex, really, in any way. It's it's Animal Crossing. It's the same rinse-repeat pattern that it always has been, and that's totally fine with me. Because it's that with a bunch of new stuff on top of it. It's a very addicting gameplay loop. The loop is very... Comforting, it's chill. I like it a lot. There's not much else to talk about it, it's just kind of, this is what you do in the game. Whoa, what is that in the pond? It's probably a koi. Yep. That's another small thing that they've added that actually is a big improvement, is that you can kind of move up and down the camera, and if something's behind something, you can move it closer, so you can see behind it. So there's, there's a lot of small improvements that are actually a big thing for the series, because of how limited some things you can do have always been. It's a lot of quality of life improvements. Pierce, you're looking oddly dapper out here. Meanwhile, you're holding a dumbbell in the rain. You're an interesting fellow. <laughs> hey, uh, it's rain. Hey, uh, it's raining, but I'm attacking the day anyway. You too, huh, Hawkeye? Let's chat. Honestly, I was hoping the new resident services building would have a public gym, Hawkeye. Don't get me wrong, the building is great. It's wild to think we used to be a deserted island, but still. Jim. You got a meat brain, man. How's it going, Ozzy? It's hard to tell if it's a night if uh, it's hard to tell if it's nighttime or just cloudy. At least the clock in my tummy is never wrong. Tomorrow's the day the folks from the Happy Home Academy come to visit. 
The bugs on the floor always get excited when the Happy Home Academy comes by. I wonder what score I'll get. Probably a low one, man, if you got bugs on the floor. I'm sorry to disappoint you. Dude is seriously just lifting out here. <laughs> what are you doing, man? Go inside your house and do that. Not out here. Get some pears. I haven't checked up on it, but I think that the foreign fruits... So your area are still worth more than the native ones. So apples and pears should sell a lot more than o than oranges here. And yeah, you can put furniture out. Well, I've already talked about that at the beginning. It's just, it's cool to have the ability to put stuff outside, finally. I don't understand why they never did that earlier, but... It's just kind of nice. Oh, I, I think I... I don't think I've talked to you properly. Megan, you're the newest person. So happy to see you, Sunday. Earlier, I could swear I was smelling my dad's shrimp tempura, so I gave him a call Sunday. Okay. Usually when you're smelling things that are not present in your vicinity is a sign of a stroke, fellow person, bear, villager. My dude. Just felt like talking, Sunday. I like to keep the area around my home clear of weeds or fallen fruit. I just need to look... I need it to look nice. I want to give a good first impression before visitors ever come inside. Also, what if my parents drop by? Okay. You're a good person. I like you. Oh, there's another pear tree. Drop it. Guess I'm eating two more pears. Actually, why do, well, the rock I'm gonna sell because I don't want it. I don't want it just sitting down on the floor. I like I like my town clean. I better get a lot of money out of this. That's a lot of money. Ooh, I could maybe actually pay off the loan today. Let me go around and get all the coconut trees. Those should sell for quite a bit as well. And I think I'll actually be able to pay it off. I didn't expect to do that, but alright. Nice.
Oh, and these? You'll notice it'll squirt some water, like over there. These things that kind of just squirt water out. They're little clams you can use to make fish bait. Which I've not done yet, and I think just kind of improves... Something? I don't know what fish bait does exactly, besides something involving fish. These trees are too new, they haven't grown in yet. Wait, someone wants something. Oh, you. Hi there, Turner. Sunday. I just wanted to say that I really appreciated your stopping by on my first day to say hello. And hey, I finally finished unpacking, so I'm freed up to chat and hang out anytime. Oh, before I forget, I'm glad I ran into you, because I have a little something for you. A hello gift from my new neighbor. Well, thank you. Something popular from where I'm from. A fax machine. Holy shit! Is it an IBM, an HP, or what? Or a star one? Thanks. I actually like that gift. Ozzy, why couldn't you give me a fax machine? Cool. I like Megan more as a villager than Ozzy so far. <laughs> Ozzy's charming in his own way, but Megan seems like a better villager. Just because, like, she... Nicer. She's actually given something I like. Ozzy seems to live in a grody house, and he gave me a fucking table. Let's see what this does. If it's just under it, I'm gonna be annoyed. Eh, it's not just under it, but it's uh, still too short. I need 7,000 more bells. So... I think we're gonna be doing some fishing then. That would be more proactive than running around shaking trees. And who knows, maybe I'll catch something weird. Probably not, though. Lovely, a boot. What's this? Trash fishing. You work extra hard to keep our islands clean and going so far as to fish up all the trash out of our lovely waters. Okay. too early. I have a twitchy finger when it comes to that. This is a bigger one. It's probably a sea bass. If I'm lucky, maybe it's a red snapper. They sell for more. Ah, that's a lot better, actually.
I've noticed so far that there hasn't really been any fish that spawn above the island up here. I'm not sure if they ever do. Because it seems like you could just fish out here. Yet I never see any fish spawn upwards like that. They're always at the sides or the bottom. Twitchy fingers. Twitchy fingers, man. Let's cross the river. I see Pierce is still working out back there in the rain. He should he better have some rocky music playing or something on like some earpods or headphones or whatever he's got. Ah, twitchy fingers. I just I expect it to catch by then. I think it's just because lately they do tend to bite once or twice and then get caught. I need to have a little more patience than that. There's a big one up over here. Nice. That'll sell for a pretty penny. There's another moderately sized one right here. The football fish sell for quite a bit, so they're very good catches. That's what I'm talking about when it comes to, like, the placement of these things. Is that it's very specific sometimes. I'm going to let it try to... No, I missed it still. How about this? There we go. The sea butterfly. And that appears to be it on this coast. Well, more will respawn as I go back down. Well, let's check the rivers. There's one right here. Uh, I think a bitterling would sell more than a horse mackerel. Mackerel are like the bottom tier fish you can get. That and sea bass. Hey, Ren, how you doing? I 
think that's a bass right there. That would be a good replacement for something. Ah! Damn it. Whatever, let's go sell what we got. Okay, two hundred thousand dollars. I can now pay off the loan and upgrade my house finally. I say finally, it's only been a day since I've had this house. All I do know is that once I do pay it off, it's gonna be a long time before I get enough money to pay off the next one. <laughs> Uh, uh, screw you, Nook. Whatever, here we go. Is it just gonna be like a weird gag where Isabel's doing random stuff in here every time you come in? Whatever. Fine. It's appropriate, it's cute, it's funny. Uh, let's use the save. Actually, I could have just used the savings. Jeez. Okay, so I'll still have a bit more money left over for myself, actually. That's nice. Yeah, I still got 12 grand. Yes, I finished paying off my home loan. Instantly goes on phone. That was a mistake. Button press. Nook. I did good, man. Well, hello there, Turner. Congratulations, you are the proud owner of a luxuriously sized, paid-in-full house. I can't imagine the feeling of satisfaction you must have. Truly, what could be better, hmm? Well, I suppose you could have another, another room, give me more money. Let me build stuff, let me take your money from you. That might technically be considered better. Oh, don't mind me, I simply can't help myself. But do come see me if you're piqued, if I've piqued your interest. You have... Ah, Tenno, hello, hello. This is the construction consult... Consul I want to say... I'm not reading consultation right. Construction consultation counter. Can I help you? About my home. So you'd like to talk about your home, hmm? Oh, but... There's something I should tell you first. Along with the layout assistance, I'm also ready to help when residents want to move their homes. <clears throat> That's something we can do even if you're still repaying your loan. If you're interested, tell me. Yes, yes. Alright, I kept you waiting long enough. How can I help you? I want to expand Dong. Help, hmm? For your home? I think adding a new room would be nice. If we add it on the back, it won't change the look of the home. But you'll get so much more space. It'll also keep the construction costs down, relatively speaking. This will require taking out a loan for 348,000 bells. What do you think? Do you want to proceed? Oh, sure. We can do that, buddy. Yeah, let's do it. Excellent. I'll get the construction started right away. Everything should be ready for you by tomorrow morning. So exciting. Exciting indeed. God damn it, Nook. Uh, let's hold a ceremony. I think we can do that for the new town hall. We're celebrating so many different things right now. Truly, this is a wonderful island moment. What ceremony do you want to take part in? Oh, there's a few. Nook's Cranny and the Resident Services. 
Let's do Nook's Cranny first. Let's get started. I didn't realize there were two. Okay. <clears throat> Everybody's out in the rain. <laughs> now then. Welcome to our dedication ceremony honoring Makino's brand new Nook's Cranny. Thank you. Makina truly started out as a deserted island. There simply wasn't much here, but now it's slowly beginning to develop, thanks to the tireless efforts of, well, everyone, really. You bastard, it was me! It was me! I'd like to ask Timmy and Tommy to say a few words as representatives of the new Nook's Cranny. Timmy, Tommy, if you would, please. Thank you, Mackinac. Because of you, we've opened a proper shop. My brother and I will work hard to make it the best shop and hope we can count on your business. Yes, yes. Thank you both. Next, a few words from someone who's made many valuable contributions towards setting Nook's Cranery built. Of course, I mean Turner, our, represent our resident representative. Anything to add? Good for us, we're amazing. Woo! Woo! Yes, yes, indeed. Thank you for your heartfelt and encouraging sentiments there, Turner. Woo! Everyone, please get ready to join me in bringing this ceremony to a close. Also, those wishing to take a commemorative photo should get ready and press the photo button on your controller. We're talking about you, player, through the TV television screen. We're not breaking any walls here. With hope for our continued growth and to celebrate Mackinac's beautiful Nook's Cranny. Hooray! I got it. I got it, Nook. Thank you all. This concludes our ceremony. Please do take care on your way home. Okay, now there's one more. And after this ceremony, I think I'm going to wrap it up for the day. And then when I come back with this again, I don't know when it'll be. It'll be sometime in the future. Yeah, resident service, yep. Now then. Welcome to our dedication ceremony honoring Mackinac's brand new resident services. Thank you for coming a few feet away to this other building to celebrate another thing. Thank you. Thanks to everyone's tireless efforts, Mackinac's developing wonderfully. I must confess, though, our little resident services building... I was, con I was concerned it would be a building forever. It would be a tent forever. Ah, I can't read right now. But now, here we are, with a beautiful new facility the whole island can enjoy. Once again, I must thank everyone who supported our efforts. And I would be at fault if I failed to acknowledge the strong ally who will help me run things from now on. Isabel, if you could grace our island friends with a few words. I'm so glad for this opportunity to say thanks to Mackinac. Like Mr. Nook said, I'm Isabel. I haven't been on the island long, so I have a ways to go until I'm fully up to speed, but... You can bet your bottom bell, I'm... I'll help in any way I can. Isabel, now is not the time for puns. If you need anything, come see me. Thank you, thank you, Isabel. Next. We'll get a few words from someone who made our new resident services building possible. Doom guy. Burst through doors. <sighs> is this hell? No, Doom Guy, this is your new town. Where are the demons? I don't know why he's like. Ugh. I just like if he if Doom Guy could talk, I think he'd be he'd either be a very stoic, muscle man kind of guy, like a Bruce Willis kind of person, or a Liam Neeson kind of person. Or he'd be like some deranged monster man like uh, Robin Williams coming out of Jumanji and wondering, Where am I? 
That's right. Let's hear from a resident rep Turner. Anything to add? Good for us. Woo! Good for us. Yes, yes, indeed. Thank you for your heartfelt and encouraging sentiments there, Turner. Everyone, please get ready and join us for bringing the ceremony to a close. Also, those wishing to take a commemorative photo show... Nah, 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 push the button! Push the button! Yes, well then. With hope for our continued growth and to celebrate Mackinac's beautiful resident services. Hooray! I got it. Thank you all. This concludes our ceremony. Please do take care on your way home. Okay. Those are out of the way. Everything's good. Apparently if I talk to Mabel, like if I buy stuff three times from her on three separate days. Which actually I should probably do that. I'll buy the shoe. Well, mm, no, I'll, I'll get a cheap thing just because whatever it is, I'm not gonna wear. Uh, I'll, I'll just, I'll get the shirt, I guess. I do like the shirt that I have on at the moment. You come with it in the game. There's, it's just what it's the generic starting shirt. But I haven't found anything that really is, like, my kind of thing. But it's, uh, the shirt I've got is fine. Alright. So I think that's gonna be it, then. This is my town. This is my character. And I'm enjoying the game a lot. It's a lot of good fun. I am addicted to this game. Please help me. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's going to be it. I'll come back to this and show it off again in a while. I don't know when. Sometime in the future. Probably when a little bit more has been done. Uh, yeah. So thanks for watching. Thanks for coming out. And, uh... Yeah, this is Animal Crossing New Horizons. It's a very good upgraded version of New Leaf. I'm addicted to it, and I can't stress that enough. I've been playing this... I'll, I, I, before I was recording this, I had already played this for... Maybe two to three hours earlier. <laughs> and now, just... Doing this... I've been stuck playing it for another two hours. So, yeah, it's a good game. It's a good game. All right. Have a good night. See you later.